welcome to The Rock. Party on, Garth. Party on, Wayne. And welcome to the Bay Blair. Excellent. Excellent. Well, to start off, we have a segment about kids running for class president. Roll it. Swing. Swing. Hi, I'm Andrew Stalsbrock, and I'm running for junior class president. My name is Caleb Matthews, and I'm running for sophomore class president. Um, my name is Kevin, and I'm running for president. Hello, I'm Colin James Stewart, and I'm running for senior class president. I'm Morgan Vance, and I'm running for president. Hi, I'm Orlando Stoneham. I'm running for junior president next year. My name is Brian Filler, and I'm running for president of the, of the senior class. I am running because it's because I like you. It's really fun, and it looks good for college. I'm running because because um, I don't know. It just seemed like something new and fun. I'm running because I was president this year and I guess I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I've always felt like I've maybe been a little too idle during high school at the end. I want to make sure that my last year in AHS is, is the best. Um, I don't know, it's fun and I like you. America. I'm running because I want to see some more changes in the school. Uh, stuff that can relate to kids in our class. We did really good at homecoming last year and almost got second, but then we ended up coming in third. But we were still really close, so we're going to do even better this year. Events that everyone can relate to. Sometimes the assemblies uh, are kind of a lot about the seniors, and I'd like to change that. I, re I want to uh, see like a restructuring of the bell schedule. Oh, beat the class of 2014. Go outside, love the sunshine, uh, don't waste time, life's short. We're not worthy, we're not worthy, we are scum! Anywho, did you ever find Bugs Bunny attractive when he put on a dress? No! <laughs> oh, me neither. You know, I think marine tech is attractive. Excuse me? Baking powder? Just check out this segment. <laughs> Well, hello, welcome to uh, Marine Tech. I'm Michael Beamer, and I want to tell you a little bit about our program that we have right here in Anacort. It's just down 17th Street from the high school. Uh, Marine Tech has three different areas, and all of the, we cover composites, so building boats. We cover electrical, which is in our systems area. and we cover propulsion and diesel engines. We have students out in the labs uh, working on projects that they've been doing all year. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the camera out and we're gonna take a tour of the building. So I'm Tim. I've been going here for the whole year. All right, so I've learned a lot from the Marine Tech Academy. Um, I work at AYC. The systems, which I had first semester, really helped. I would go to work after school, and I, I could apply what I learned here to my job, and I thought that was really cool. This is the electrical class, and one of our projects is we're talking or building a bike, electrical bike, as a startup project. Um, and it's gonna lead us up to, for next year's students, where they're gonna build a electrical boat. So about 75% hands on. The rest is us sitting around talking to Mr. Beamer. Also, as long as you're in high school, it's free. Oh yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, there's no catch in either. We're pretty much professionals. Our instructors are awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. Swites and Beamer, oh, yeah. they're awesome. No, these guys are genius. This, I'd say that this is probably one of the best experiences I've had in my high school career. If 
you're interested, uh, go see your counselor. Hey, man, they're like living in the now, man. Hey, Wayne, <laughs> what do you think about the baseball team? They're great, I guess. Why? What do you think about them? Excellent. Swing! Last week, our baseball team advanced to the state tournament with wins over Cedarcrest, Bellingham, and Archbishop Murphy. Here's a quick look at how they did it. They're going to stay. Yeah, well, I guess so. But actually, it's kind of like a new pair of underwear. At first, it's restricting, but then it grows to be a part of you. Awesome! Speaking of underwear, Ben has some interesting thoughts on the students of the Ann Cordes High School Babe Lair. Roll segment! Ring is almost here. That means more heat. And you know what more heat means? Less clothes! Whoa! Hold it there! As much as we all wish the school's hallways could resemble a combination of Victoria's Secret catalogs and an Abercrombie store, we need to keep it under control. After all, we couldn't concentrate on schoolwork. Let's go over some rules. The swimsuit area. Make sure your pants aren't too low, high, short, or tight. That means you, pink and juicy wearers. I don't want to be able to tell what sort of underwear you're wearing through your pants, but still, wear underwear, please, for our sake. Shorts shouldn't be too short. If your pockets and or butt hang out of your shorts, they're too short. The chest. Well, some chest is cool. Wearing shirts cut down to your belly button is strictly against the rules. Save the skimpy outfits for the pool. And guys, put a shirt on. Not everyone wants to see your rockin' abs. Shoulder straps. Okay. This seems like a no-brainer, but make sure that you have something holding up your shirt besides your anatomy. None of this strapless stuff. That's all for now, ladies and gentlemen, and make sure you stay cool and follow the school's dress code. Babe test passed. What? No more rock? Denied. Denied. Party on, Anacortes High School. Excellent. Party time. Woo! <laughs>